So guys, I got a clip coming up from Carlos Miller from the 85 South Show and the two young ladies from the Poor Minds podcast that I've covered in the past. I've covered some of Carlos Miller's videos in the past. As usual, he keeps it real. And on this one, he's talking about dating in Atlanta and the nature of women being competitive with each other and the fact that, fellas, you're the prize, man. And that's just what it is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play this clip, man. And I'm going to get you guys thoughts on this. Let's go. Don't nobody like me because I keep it so real with you. Do you know how many pussies out here that don't nobody want? <gasps> it don't matter how you dress it up or try to give it away. It's, don't nobody want it? <laughs> we live in Atlanta. Look how many women out here got high quality pussies the time you like. You ain't gonna be able to fuck them because you don't have time to meet them. Mm. Right. I'm too weak. It's so much pussy in this city that can't possibly give it all away. You heard all the excuses women make for not being able to find a nigga in Atlanta. It's more niggas in Atlanta that like women than anything. It's you. <laughs> it is you. Nobody cares how good you look, how successful you are. It is you. Mm. You just not the type of chick that niggas in Atlanta like. Move to San Antonio. Not San Antonio. You not the shit in Atlanta. You feel entitled to a nigga. Oh, I'm a good woman. Who validated this? <laughs> Show me some notarized paperwork that proves what the fuck you're saying is true, ma'am. I can't Niggas lie. in Atlanta be liking niggas too, but ain't nothing okay, wrong with this out. <laughs> But ain't nothing wrong with that This is why we need shit like this. Well, you know the type of clown ass women in Atlanta? There's some fucking weird ass women out here. And don't nobody never talk about them. You know why? Because we too busy going to find ones who are not weird. Mm -hmm. There's some weird ass ladies out here. Mm -hmm. And they be like, y'all be inviting women to y'all crib? Mm -hmm. No. Do you know how many weird ass people I had to make sure they don't even follow me when I leave they ass tonight? Mm -hmm. Like, I hope I never see her again. They what makes one weird? Okay. Some of these chicks out here are lame as fuck. They lame and they do shit like they idolize fucking women on social media. They're like, don't nobody want to fuck with a bitch who got to look up to another bitch. You got a hero. <laughs> what is wrong with you? That's weird. That's weird. No, but I think I don't know a hero. No I feel like I see a hero don't is no wild. Man want no follower ass bitch. What Carlos say? Who validated this? Who notarized this? Who certified this? A lot of women going around saying I'm a certified bad bitch. Fellas, if you've never been to Atlanta, there's tons of women. I had a young lady on my show before. She said that when she left her city, she was the big fish there. She got to Atlanta, no more. They say women go to Atlanta to get a new start and they think that they're gonna do this and be competitive. Man, there's so many women in Atlanta, and like he said, they want to use the excuse of there's a strong gay community in Atlanta for men. So there's not enough men that are checking for women, even though I'm successful, I'm a good person, in your opinion. I just covered a video where a woman was on Yana Van Zant's Fix My Life, and she was talking about how she does everything. And this is what women always say. I do this, this, and this for a man. He doesn't see it. How come he left me and married the next woman? This is what women will constantly say. Fellas, don't believe the hype. There are tons of lonely women out there, women going to seminars, women go to bed alone at night, women that deal with certain dudes. In Atlanta, if you're black, there are tons of women out there, tons of successful women. And some of them are weird, some of them are lonely, and some of them have to compete. So that's the place where you should go at. He mentioned some things, because women tend to think that they are special. In particular, you are special that you're your own individual, but you feel like you're the only one, like there aren't more women that are doing the same thing that you're doing. And you still feel like you don't have to compete which is strangely enough, in a city like Atlanta, you still don't feel like you have to compete. You'll be like, okay, you'll look at this woman, I'll look at this woman and say, he still needs to do this. He still, you have to bring more. Scarcity creates value. If a man has an abundance of women and he has an abundance mindset and he doesn't have to put up with certain BS and you're just coming with, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that, blah, blah, blah. He could just go on to the next one. There are some weird women. As much as women say there are weird dudes, there are some weird women out there. If many of you are sharing one dude, you're going to sit here and say there are no good men. Men aren't checking for me, but you're just stuck on one dude. Hey, 
And he mentioned he also mentioned something interesting where he said there's a lot of women who have a hero or an idol of sorts. I was dating this one young lady one time. <laughs> Funny enough, this woman and she was in her late thirties. And a lot of women find themselves Beyonce this, Beyonce that, but to the point where you're actually like, everything is, oh my goodness, Beyonce. Beyonce is like a god. And I thought this shit was weird. Cause even with women, you think a man is weird, but especially you looking at a woman that you're spending all your time infatuated with this woman and y'all are virtually the same age. And this woman couldn't care less about what you got going on. You're my hero, you're my hero. Oh my goodness, blah, blah, blah. What are you doing? What are you doing? If all your time is focused on this, I can't, I agree with him on that. I can't rock with a woman like that, man. This is what it is. This is what we're focusing our time and attention into. You're trying to be like something else. You are aspiring to be in, in the aspect in its entirety to be like that. And y'all know what I mean, where it's borderline creepy. I don't mean where you're looking at, okay, that's a mentor. I aspire to be like this person in that aspect. No, just the music, the design, almost shrines, all this stuff is completely weird. But back to Atlanta, baby. You just got to get with it to get lost. And the women who moved there, they realized this early on. They realized this quickly that there is an abundance of women and men have a choice. So you can play around, play that hard to get stuff. You may not hear from anybody again. And you're on to, before you know it, you either staying by yourself. You dealing with other women or you just dealing with multiple dudes because you just feel, hey, it's not me, it's them. <laughs> Which is the mentality of a lot of women. They'll say this. It's not me, it's them. They're the issue. It could never be me. You know what I mean? It could never be me. Ladies, you have to stop that and recognize and work on things and date with intention instead of just feeling like you're almighty and you can't deal with certain dudes. Or you're competing with this. You think that you're going to be the winner out of these 300, 400 women. It's like the draft. NFL and NBA draft, baby. If you get drafted, cool. What are you doing? You just think that just by you being a woman, you're going to get drafted? Anyway, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think? And for those of you dating in Atlanta, what's your opinion? I know I've covered this topic in the past, but what do you guys think? Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours. Truly purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. It helps to support the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. With that being said, much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. And that's where I'm going to see you guys at. This is your favorite everything. This is wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace. Uh, yeah. 50 cent. 50. Part two. Bring it back. Uh, yeah. Can't forget Tony. 50. UK!